Now, we are going to see three digit quotient. See, the number is dividend is a four digit and the divisor is a what, single digit. You can get the quotient is a three digit number. So, look at the sum. 1284 is divided by 6. You can get the three digit quotient. So, look at the sum. Now, we are going to solve the problem. So, first we have to start with the what? Thousands place. After that, hundred, then tens and ones. But first we have seen the step what? Group uh, that is regrouping method. First we have seen the regrouping but e because each, uh, each step we are going to do. First we have to uh, divide the thousand. Then we are going to divide the hundreds. Then we are then we divide uh, what uh, tens then we divide last at last we divide ones but here we just uh, do the normal division but first we start with the what thousand so compare with one and six so one is less than six so you can't divide so better you take the next digit number that is what is the number hundred place what is the number two so now one and two you must combine that is twelve so twelve is what what is twelve is less than six Sorry, uh, 1 is less than 6 and after the 12, the so 12 is what? Greater than 6. Sorry, 12 is greater than 6. So, a 6, 2 is ours. We are going to 12. We are going to, we are going to take the number 12 <coughs> as a dividend. 6 is a divisor. So, <coughs> we are using the 6th table. So, how many times it goes? So, in 12, that is in 12, 6 goes how many times? 6, 2 is 12. You must write in the 1000 place. So, 12 that is 6 twos are what is the answer 6 twos are 12 so 12 minus 12 you can get what zero just cancel the zero next you have to bring down the 8 so compare 8 and 6 compare 8 and 6 8 is greater than 6 so how many in 8 how many time it goes 6 means that is 6 ones are 6 you must 1 you must write the quotient place 6 ones are 6 you must write the 6 below the 8 and it is closest to the 8 as well as what? It is less than 8. So you have to separate 6 minus or 8 minus 6. You can get 2. After that you have to bring down the 4. So 4 that is 2 4 that is 24. 24. So 24 is greater than 6. Greater than 6. So you must in 24, 6 how many times it goes? That is 6 4s are 24. 4 you have to write it on the quotient place. 6 4s are 24. 24 you have to write. So 24 minus 24 you can get 0. 0 is a reminder and this is a quotient. I will repeat the sum once again. <coughs> 1284 divided by 6. So 1284 is a what? Dividend and 6 is a divisor. <coughs> so you have to write thousand, hundreds and tens and ones. You have to write the place value on the top. First start with the thousand. So compare 1 and 6. 1 is less than 6. So you have to take the next digit that is 1 and 2 and that means 100 digit you have to take 1 and 2 combined you can get 12 12 is greater than 6 and in 12 6 how many times it goes 6 twos are 12 so 12 minus 12 you can get what 0 so cancel the 0 then a tens place what is the number 8 you have to bring down the 8 here so in 8 6 how many times it goes 6 ones are 6 1 you have to write it in the quotient place and 6 ones are 6 6 you have to write it below the 8 and 6 is a what it's a closest to the 8 and also lesser than the 8 so 8 minus 6 you can get 2 and after that compare with the 2 and 6 compare with 2 and 6 you must check it so 2 is what less than 6 so you have to bring down the ones place value 4 so 2 4 combined together and you can get 24 24 is greater than 6 so 24 in 24 6 how many time it goes 6 4 is at 24 4 you must write it in the quotient place 6 4 is at 24 24 you have to write it here so 24 minus 24 you can get 0 the 0 is a reminder and 214 is a quotient and what is the question you I have given three digit quotient so one two three how many digit three digit so two quotient is 214 so 1 stands 100 and reminder is 0 but you must know whether the answer is correct or not you have to check check method you have to follow so quotient into divisor within the bracket plus reminder you can get the dividend that is dividend so quotient is what 214 into divisor what 6 multiply plus 0 reminder is 0 I just apply the values 
and you can get if you get the dividend only you can get the answer is the quotient and reminder both are correct so i'm just going to multiply 214 and 6 better i'm doing here 214 multiply by what 6 6 4 is at 24 carry over is 2 1 6 is 6 6 plus 2 8 and 6 2 is at 12 so you have to write 1 2 8 4 and what you're going to do that is add with the reminder is 0 you can get 1 2 8 4 what you can get the what 1 2 8 4 add with the 0 you can get 1 2 8 4 again that is the dividend D I V I E and dividend. This is called as D. This D is dividend. That is question. Dividend. You can get the question. You can get the question. So whatever you find, the quotient as well as the reminder, both are correct in this sum. Now zero in the quotient. That's you are going to solve the problem. One thousand six hundred is divided by eight. First sum, A sum. We are going to solve. So. As, is, as it is the same problem, compare 1 and 8. So 1 is less than 8, so you go to the 6. So you must add 1 and 6, you can get 16. So this is 1s and 10s and 100 and 1000. You first you have to write the place value. So 1000, you start with 1000, then you have to compare. It is not a what? You can't divide because 1 is less than 8. So you can go to the 100 place value number, that's 6. That is called as 16. So 16. In 16, 8, how many times it goes? 2, 10. 8, 2, are 16. So, you just write 16 as it is. 16 minus 16, you can get 0. The reminder is, so, reminder is 0. It cancels the 0. Next, 2 digit is what? 0 and 0. So, 2 zeros are here. So, you have to bring down the 0, but there is no use because you cannot divide. So, the better you add the 2 zeros in the quotient place. So, the answer is 200. This is the quotient and this is a reminder. So reminder is also zero. So and quotient. That is quotient is also 200. Quotient is 200 and reminder is zero. Quotient is 200 and reminder is zero. Next number is. Here two, digit, two digits zero, here only one digit is zero. That is B sum we are going to solve. 4520, 4520 is divided by 8. I am going to solve the problem. 4520, once tens, 100, then 1000. You have to write the place value before that. And this is a four digit number, this is a single digit number. This is a dividend and this is a divisor. So compare first, start with a, start with a thousand. So what are you going to do? 4 and compare 4 and 8. You have to compare. So 4 is less than 8. So you can't divide. You can go to the next 100 place, uh, 100 place value. 100 place value. What is the number in 100 place value? 5. So 4 and 5 you have to combine. That is 45. So 45 is greater than 8. So you have to. In 45, 8 how many goes? How many times it goes? In 45, 8 how many times it goes? That is 8, 5 is 40. The 5 you must write it in the quotient place. And 45 minus 40. So 40, that is the 45, my 45, after the 45, you have to write the 40 below, below, below 45, you have to write this 40. So this is the closest to 45 as well as what? It is nearest value, you have to write it. So 45 minus 40, you can get 5 minus 0, you can get 5. And after that, you have to bring down the next digit 2, that is 52. Because 5 and 8 compare means 5 is less than 8, so you can't divide, so you have to bring down the next 10th place value, sorry, 10th place, place value, that number is 2, so bring down the 2 here, that is 52, so you have to tell the table, so in 52, 8, how many times it goes, that is the question, so 8, 6 are 48, 8, uh, 7 are what, 56, so 56 you should not write, because you have to write the number that is less than and also closest to this, 52. So 8, 6 are what? 48. You have to write 48. So 2 minus 8 you can't subtract. You have to borrow from here. So 12 minus 8 you can get 4. 4 minus 4 you can get 0. The last but not least the number is last. What is the number? 0. You have to write it here. Bring down the 0. The ones place value. So 4 and 8 you have to compare. But 4 is less than 8. That is what? You have to bring down the ones place value. What is the number in the ones place? 0. So now it is 40. 40 compare with 40. Uh, in, in 40, how many times 8 goes means 5 times. So 8, 5 are 45. You must write it in the what quotient place. 
again you have to write 40 40 minus 5 you can get 0 0 as a reminder and this is a quotient so quotient is 5 6 5 and reminder is 0 but you must know whether the answer is right or wrong means you have to do the check method again so quotient and divisor you have to multiply 565 into 8 so 8 uh, 8 5 is a 40 0 carry for carry, carry over is go to the tens place 6 8 is a 48 48 plus 2 52 2 the 5 is goes to the what 100 place 8 5 is a 40 40 plus 5 45 4520 that dividend is come that means the question has come so the answer is correct even though you add with 0 the reminder because the formula is quotient into divisor plus reminder you can get the dividend the question you got it so again 4 5 2 0 the same answer will come so whatever you find the quotient 565 the reminder 0 both are correct